of my first part about the enzyme biotechnology where I have discussed the four different key aspects. What is enzyme biotechnology? What are the methods or the application? And what is the recent advancement? I have started my discussion with what is enzyme. I have told you how it is actually assembling, what is it is doing and what are the various properties and how uh, it is actually uh, acting. I also told you how uh, it works. Yeah, I can recall all the things. You, are, um, you have enzyme. This will be active site. Substrate will come. It will bind. Then to make the product, then enzyme and the product will be get separated. I also told you there are various types of enzyme. Then I have mentioned that uh, uh, what is enzyme biotechnology and enzyme immobilization, where we are actually restricting or uh, imprisoning the uh, activity of enzyme. Then I have told you that uh, what are the advantages of enzyme mobilization. You can recall all those points that we have learned in our previous days. I also have mentioned you that uh, what are the few disadvantages. Everything is coming with some disadvantages. And then I have told you that uh, uh, how you will able to uh, do uh, the uh, enzyme biotechnology. How you will, uh, that is a uh, work. These are the various uh, methods of enzyme immobilization, one was absorption that I told you how it is uh, working and I also have mentioned you what kind of bonds it is actually forming. I also mentioned you what are the methods of absorption. Then I have mentioned that what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. Then covalent bonding, it was the second type of enzyme immobilization. Uh, here covalent bond um, was actually formed and you can see this is um, the assembly or the matrix. So these are the uh, support carrier by which uh, the, the covalent bond based uh, enzyme will soon be happen. Then carrier, I've already mentioned these things. Then what are, how the methods, how actually you will perform, how you actually you will be make the matrix of uh, immobilized enzyme. I also told you what are the advantages of uh, enzyme immobilization and disadvantages. Then I have started with the entrapment where you're actually entrapping your enzyme into a certain porous uh, matrix. Then I have told you uh, what are the uh, examples, methods, and I also mentioned the advantages. It is very fast, cheap. Then what are the disadvantages? It is liquids will be here. Then I have mentioned you the cross-linking of or the polymerization, co-polymerization. Uh, through cross-link, it will be joined together and encapsulation where you're actually encapsulating your entire uh, enzyme, what are the advantages and disadvantages. So after discussing the various methods and uh, with a deep introduction, uh, I have told you the how you can use the uh, immobilized enzyme in what are the areas. I also told you what are the recent advancement in enzyme immobilization. Then I have mentioned you and after that, uh, our second part of the discussion was ended. Then I have started the third part. It was called biosensor. In that area, I have discussed in uh, that is a, a six different aspects. At first, I have told you what is biosensor. So all of you 